In this tutorial, I want to show how to achieve dynamic positioning of our child between two dynamic height containers. So in this example, we have top container with text and bottom container with text. And uh, if we generate random text, we always position our action button right between them. Or if we change the scale of text, it also stays between them. We can also position the whole block at the top or at the bottom and nothing will change. First, let me show you naive implementation with uh, Flutter tools, Flutter widgets and containers. So as you can see, it's very obvious we have a stack and we have a column, two containers, each one one of them has a height of 200 units and we have a size box between them and then we position our action at the bottom with simple mass to center it now it works but we have fixed height of our containers what if you want to remove this and make it dynamic as you can see obviously everything is broken how to fix this we need to use some library, and uh, I strongly recommend using Boxy. It's an amazing library, and big thanks to the author, Andre. This library also has an amazing documentation where you can read way more about layout and how to work with it. I'll just show to you the final solution. So, very similar to custom multi child layout. From SDK, we have custom boxy, and we need to provide children and delegate. Each children is wrapped in boxy ID. We use symbols here. And uh, we have our top container, we have our bottom container, and we have our action button. Now, all the magic happens in this delegate. So there is a layout method where we can get our children. Then we can lay out them and get their sizes. Then let's calculate the container width uh, of our block. We can just get maximum value of top block and bottom block. Then we position our bottom block right below the top block plus 15 units. And then we position our action button on the right side of, of the container and the uh, right below the top container plus center of the uh, our container and uh, then we position it half of the size of this container as well and then we remove the size we return the size of our container just contain the width and uh, this it's very simple it's very straightforward Sure, we can uh, add more complicated logic uh, to, do, uh, to pass like our padding as a parameter, etc. But I'd say it works perfectly well. And obviously, this can work not only with text, this can work with images and uh, anything you can imagine. That's it. Thank you guys. Please subscribe and let me know what you think about it.